You're listening to the Small and Supercharged podcast with Rhea Freeman, episode five. So today we're joined by the very lovely Lucy Robinson, who is also at Footloose Eventing on, well, Instagram and everywhere. But Lucy is also part of Team Fairfax and Favour. And if you follow me on any platform, you'll know I'm basically addicted to the brand anyway. But this year, they've got a really exciting campaign going. So I'm going to hand over to Lucy, who's going to tell us a little bit about the brand and what she does there before we get onto the bit about the the beautiful pink tassels that we see all over Instagram at the moment. Hi, I'm Lucy, and I'm marketing assistant at Fairfax and Favour. I mean, I think that you possibly have one of the most, I'm going to say enviable jobs in equestrian marketing. But on the flip side, I also know how hard you work because the team are everywhere, aren't you? You're at shows and there's always a lot going on. Your Instagram is just bursting with shoots, shows, setup, breakdowns, new products. Yeah, yeah. No, it's busy, but it's really, really good. I mean, I started off myself working the shows uh, for three years ago now. So I started off on the show circuit. Um, Believe it or not, I was actually... I did model in one of the campaigns. In I've seen you, and you were stunt, weren't you, a, I'm going to say, a stunt double in the last one as well? Yeah, that was probably my favourite because I got to ride the Frisian stallion on the beach. So that was, uh, that was the best thing. Um, and then, but no, it's great here, really busy. I still get to go to all the shows now, which is the fun part of the job. And uh, yeah, document everything on Instagram and get to see all the lovely customer photos. It's really good. And get to wear things. Yes, and obviously wearing the shoes is a big bonus as well. And the bags. The bags. I love my Windsor. It's not, I'm looking around the office, it's not here. Not that that would really help from a podcast point of view, but I love, (laughs) I can fit all my worldly possessions in there. I think you need to wait for our new um, collection, our new autumn winter collection. We've got uh, a little bag coming out. We've got a range, a new family. It's called the Loxley family. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Ooh, and their bags. Their bags. It's a whole. It's kind of like so. You've got the mini um, crossbody, a shoulder bag, and a tote as well. So they're my new favourites. So keep an eye for that. And when will <laughs> they? When's the new autumn collection out? Um, hopefully very soon because the catalogue drops kind of I think mid October. Hoping by the end of October, then we should start getting some of the products in and uh, which I'm very excited about. I have to say your catalogues are a work of art, the the foil on the... Yeah. (laughs) I like... Well, we've got got Jenny to thank for that. She puts loads of hard work and time into those. Um, So obviously after the photo shoot, she's there from the office at nine till nine at night, um, just working away quite tirelessly. So... Well She's done, Jenny. Well done, Jenny. Yeah. Shout out to Jenny. Jenny is a complete... Yeah, shout out to Jenny. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about a, a quite a specific thing, which is your current um, campaigns. This is the third year you've run a, a campaign to raise money for breast cancer care. Mm-hmm. And you are leading the campaign this year, aren't you? Yeah, so um, I was allowed to take this one of my wings, kind of my first big uh, campaign, which I've I've managed. Um, So basically, the campaign, the idea started um, three years ago. Uh, Both uh, Felix and Marcus's grandparents actually suffered with the breast cancer themselves. Um, So it's a a cause close to their heart. So obviously, they wanted to do something um, to kind of raise awareness and raise money. So um, it all started uh, three years ago with the limited edition tassel. Um, Now that was the premium tassel and I think they raised uh, close to 15 grand. Which is Um, amazing. Which is fantastic. It was really, really good and really well received, really well supported. So then obviously they were like, right, we're gonna do it again. Um, So they thought, well, we need a different product. So they did the Senno belt, the pink Senno, which was really good again. I think they raised a similar, similar figure. And then this year, So the limited edition tassel is kind of better than ever, really. It's longer. It's in a kind of hot fuchsia pink, really stand out. But it's also got the detail in the shield as well. I love Um, it. Yeah, really nice. And then they've got these new boxes as well. Uh, Never seen boxes like this before. Um, And they've got a little card in them just saying that 100% of proceeds go to the charity, which is fantastic. I think for them doing the proceeds and not the profit, it just shows that they're really behind the cause. Um, 
so yeah it's all all systems go and it's going down really well we're five days into the campaign and we've I think we've done a, a whopping figure already. I won't actually say yet because it's going no, to don't say. It'd be good to, the, to announce it at the end. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, no, but really, really excited. So yeah, as you said, the pink, the actual pink tassels are this. They're a really beautiful hot pink, and the actual the shield were it, on year one. Were they just like the normal ones, just sort of yeah, just, mm -hmm. just the normal shield on year one, and then we thought, well, we need to as just product developing um, and so we've got our new product developer Rose in um, and she thought the idea of just the little detailing in the shields um, and it's it's really nice little touch and just something a little bit different and more special so um, and it actually really stands out in all the photos so yes. um, no, it looks really nice. I mean do you feel quite when you were given this brilliant job um, of doing year three's breast cancer care campaign, did you kind of think, oh yes, this is brilliant? Or did you have this kind of, oh my God, because raising 15,000 pounds for the last two years is a huge amount of money, which you know, to give a really, really good cause. It's a really important cause, as you said earlier, it's close to Felix and Marcus's heart. When you were given the challenge of kind of heading up year three of the breast cancer care Fairfax and Favour campaign, did you sort of think, oh my God, because, the amount of money they've raised for the last two years is huge. Did you sort of think, yay, for the challenge? Or did you think, oh my God, these are big shoes to fill? I was definitely up for the challenge. And I think uh, with all the support that we've received from the customers and bloggers and other influencers, um, everyone's been really supportive and willing to, you know, make as much awareness as they can through posting about it, tweeting on Instagram, on Facebook, loads of shares, loads of likes, and everyone's getting really involved. So I was just excited. I want to double last year's Too target, right. really. Um, and I think we can easily do that, definitely. So, oh, and all the shops as well. Loads of our stockists have um, actually bought stock of the tassels as well. So they're selling in their shops as well, which is fantastic. Oh, wow. Well, that's really exciting. So mm. they come in these beautiful um, hot pink boxes, don't they? Yeah. No, they're really good, and uh, which actually makes for really nice photos. So I've had just a massive influx of people using the hashtag, which is hashtag Fairfax and Favor VCC, um, and which is really good. And then I'm really enjoying reposting everyone's photos just because it's nice to say thank you for the support. I think it's really important. Definitely. So the last two years, you said the first year was the um, premium tassels, and this year was the belt. So how has your has your kind of marketing and promotion differed this year to previous years? Because you, correct me if I'm wrong, but you launched them officially on the 1st of October online. But I'm sure, yes. I'm going to get this wrong now, at Burley, did I see a few running up and down the trotter? <laughs> yeah, that was very well spotted. So basically we had, we only had 30 tassels which came in at Burley time. And so <laughs> we had... <laughs> idea we thought well we can't sell them and the launch date was the first of october so we thought well what better way of giving you know a little sneaky bit of promotion um prior to the launch than getting asking the riders if they would possibly wear them on the trot up and actually we didn't really have to ask they were asking us yeah. um so it was really great to have the support of the riders and also um on the trot up spencer sturmy made a really good job of uh, announcing that they were for the charity for breast cancer care and um and yeah so that was really good and loads of people spotted loads of people commented we had lots of people coming onto the stand and asking where can i get them and when can i get them so it's good just built up a little bit of anticipation before the launch so so i think what's really lovely about this campaign is obviously we did see them on the trot up at birdie which was lovely and i think that they really did stand out because people can obviously put them on their uh, mirrors which are the over the knee ones the regina's Actually, they go on everything. You can put them on your handbag. They're really adaptable. Um, but I think as well, it's not just the people who you, you have chosen to support the, the campaign, like influencers and in inverted commas, kind of ambassadors you work with, but everybody who's bought the tassels is really an ambassador and an advocate for the brand because I think the really great thing about Fairfax and Faber is you feel like you're part of the family. Definitely. That's something, I mean, we kind of want Fairfax and Faber to be more of a lifestyle and, you know, people getting behind such a good cause and supporting and all of our customers are they're really happy to be going ahead supporting posting the photos um but it's really nice it's kind of like a sense of community 
Um, and I think the people that we work with, the ambassadors and stuff, the fact that they must have, you know, some of them have really big followings and they're more than happy to, 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 to post images and stuff. So I think the really great thing about this campaign is that I've seen people with all sorts of followings really supporting it, like massive followings and kind of micro-influencer followings. How have you, how do you find that? Do you only pick people because they have a big following and like support them by re reposting, retweeting, whatever? How do you work that out? No, not at all. I think we value everyone and especially our customers, um, even if they've got a smaller following. If anything, they're more happy and enthusiastic to post and post and post again. Um, whereas some people with the bigger followings we find they might just do a story or you know we might be lucky to get a post but so I think it's really nice that we keep encouraging our smaller customers by letting them get involved in these campaigns so the smaller bloggers um, they're actually we find they're more beneficial for us than um, than possibly the bigger influencers so you know we we love them to to keep doing what they're doing because they do a fabulous job no definitely I can completely agree with that I think that's really interesting and I, and I do think that really comes across in your social content that you really value any you know you value all your customers I know when I come to your stand I usually get greeted by alcohol which is lovely uh, <laughs> I mean that's like the way to food or alcohol is basically the way to anyone's heart I find um, no, I think it's brilliant and I'm so excited to see how well this campaign does because I know it's going to do well and the product is just so so beautiful so if people want to find out more, if people want to buy, if people want to follow the hashtag, give us all the information. What can people find? Where can they find you? Okay, so the tassels are available on our website. We've got a, um, a designated breast cancer care page. So it's under um, our brand and breast cancer care 2018. And there, there is a link, just a little button, uh, shop now and pop it in your basket. Um, the tassels are 30 pounds. And as I said before, 100% of the proceeds go to the charity. Um, and it's that simple. Next day delivery, easy as that. And then all you have to do, if you can, uh, take a little photo with your boots uh, with the hashtag Fairfax and Favour BCC um, and you might get a chance to feature on our Instagram or Twitter or both and Facebook. It's wonderful. <laughs> you, could be yet, so you could be shot to fame through these tassels. Yep. Living the dream. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate everyone's support. So um, the, more, the more we sell, the more we raise, the better it is for everyone. So. And do you have a limited number? Do people really need to crack on now? Or are you selling it for the whole of October? Or how does it work? Uh, yeah, we've got a limited number. I can't remember off the top of my head what that number is. But uh, when they're gone, they're gone. And that's it. So limited edition really is in the name, really. Um, so yeah, we better get clicking, get buying. Um, but yeah, we really appreciate everyone's support. So thank you again. <laughs> and there's also, I forgot to mention this earlier, a really good video, um, which you, I don't know, there's horses involved. I think it's the Explorers they're on. Yeah, so that was from our autumn winter campaign shoot. Um, so every, every photo shoot when we're, so last uh, autumn winter we did a video and this one we did as well um, but it's good nice little slipper and yes that was Dilly the horse she's a great cob um, but it's nice oh and the dogs as well we had some nice lurches in there so yeah. really what more could you want horses dogs boots tassels it's brilliant <laughs> the dream so that's so fairfaxandfavour.co.uk and there's a specific breast cancer care bit that people can go and get buying on yeah that's it or drop from the tassel page whatever you prefer <laughs> But there's a blog as well. So if you want to read the blog a little bit more about um, why we're doing it, if you want, if I haven't babbled enough, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> then, um, then you can read instead. Um, and so, yeah. uh, what shows are you at in October? Um, so this will probably come out the, in a couple of weeks' time. So towards the end of October, will they still be at the shows or does it depend on stock levels, really? A very good question. I know we're currently at Hoy's. Um, and then I think we're going to Bookalo. Um, so the, if you're in, if you're in, where is Bookalo? Is it in France or I'm, Germany I'm... or Holland? I think it's Holland. It's Holland. If you're in Holland, then you can possibly shop them there. But if not, I would probably recommend buying online. <laughs> just, just buy them online, people. That's, the, that's yes. the overall thing. If you want them, buy them, get taking pictures, use the hashtag go, go, go. <laughs> exactly 
that is brilliant thank you very very much you're an absolute diamond and we can't well i can't wait to see how much you raise at the end of the campaign will you announce that on your so at the end of october or early november how will you let us all know how much you've raised um end of october beginning of november we will put out a post basically on all socials saying how much we've raised and uh thanking you for your support in advance hopefully um but yeah keep an eye out for that on socials and you'll see our amazing target and hopefully a big check as well like a big comedy check big check big check That's nice good. nice photo of the boys as well get them in their suits for a change <laughs> well i mean if there's if there's no better incentive than people need to buy them it get, you get to see marcus and felix in their suits with a big check yeah exactly it's just <laughs> the dream <laughs> the dream oh bless you thank you very very much